Hi YouTube and welcome to my channel. This is Sandra, your girl aka Simply Love, coming to you with the video for your October 2016 special love and sex edition, okay? And <clears throat> this is going to be for the sign of Taurus. Just want to take a moment to thank all my subscribers, all my viewers, um, all those who leave your beautiful, wonderful comments, I, I certainly appreciate it and I'm very humbled by it. Uh, excuse me, I have my retainer in. Sorry, it helps straighten out my teeth. I always have to wear it in the evening. Um, I'm hoping to get my videos out um, on time. If I don't, please, uh, I'm working on them. Please, ap I apologize, but I want to get them all out at one time instead of one here, one there. I just want to do it all at once. And the reason why I'm back is because, you know, we did our little special where I was answering questions for people. Um, who participated in the contest, okay? So those who participated in the contest, expect a, a, a separate video next week. I'm going to put it out for the winners. So there's going to be two for each each of the uh, uh, videos that I put out, two per video. So it'll be two, four, six, eight. It'll be eight people that's going to win. Uh, I will send, um, and I'm also going to be randomly choosing some people also for some little gifts that I have to give away and just to show you my thank you and how much I really do appreciate you guys I really really do I love you guys so so much and I thank you for all your feedback I thank you all who um trusted in me to be your private personal reader um I enjoy doing that and I do wish all of you the very very best and I'm going to continue on to do what I'm doing as well as helping people um now, we're, I'm just going to get right on into it because, like I said, I think these are going to be over 30 minutes because of the details of it. Um, this is going to be for the sign of Taurus. Okay, Taurus. <clears throat> First part we're going to get into is the um, the romance part. So I'm going to read from the romance, the romance tarot, the romantic tarot. Okay, for the love portion of it. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And for the uh, sexual erotic tarot, I'm going to use the uh, Monera cards. The Monera uh, erotic cards. Now, um, these cards are very sexually explicit. So, you know, I gave full warning already. So once I get to that part, if you have children or anything around, please go to another room or send them to another room um, out of respect for the children. Please. Um, and out of respect for me because I do respect the children, you know, when it comes to things like this. And I'm going to, you know, um, lighten things up with the, uh, with the law of attraction cards. And it's just an oracle card and it's going to be an affirmation that you can write down if you want to and use that affirmation in the morning and in the evening. Um, um, yeah, in the morning and in the evening, before you go to bed and when you wake up, just say the affirmation, you know, and um, it'll, you know, you'll notice a difference in your life along with meditation. Meditation helps you out as well um, when you're um, transforming your life or going through some difficulties. Uh, I always suggest to my customers, you know, um, meditation. I do offer meditation um, um, classes. I haven't gotten up on my website yet, but if you are interested, my information is below. Even if you like a private personal reading uh, regarding yourself, cater just to you, look below, hit the, the, the uh, see more in the description field. It'll bring down a drop box and I'll have all my information in there that you need. Okay. Um, so let's get on with the readings because I got, <laughs> I want to get these out. I'm going to try to get them out before the first, or on the first, no later than the second. I'm trying to get all these out. And this is like an extended reading like I uh, promised. Um, it is the uh, end of the retrograde. So I'm doing this special because of the end of the retrograde. And I know I'm certainly feeling a whole lot better. And I hope you guys are too because that was a little rough there. It was like a, a cloudy moment, you know, during that time. But the for me, the clouds have lifted, okay? I went through a lot of things. If you're on my Facebook page, you'll see. I also want you to, you know, travel on over and join me on Instagram. I wasn't using Instagram that much, but now I am because I kind of played around with it. And what I'm doing is going to put up weekly uh, love nuggets. So, you know, just go to my front page 
and where my name is on my front page, down at the right uh, bottom right hand corner, you'll see all the little icons, my Facebook, my Instagram, Google Plus, all that is down there. You can click on the Instagram icon, it'll take you over there to where I'm at. If you like to view your uh, weekly nuggets, love nuggets, um, uh, just go ahead on it and I'll, you know, bring you aboard there, you know, accept you there, okay? I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's get on with the reading. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards. Uh, this is going to be the love portion of the reading, okay? The love edition, okay? We're going to talk about nothing but love here, okay? <laughs> Hope you guys have doing well. I hope the retrograde treated you uh, well. And um, there was a lot of lessons to be learned with the retrograde. And, um, you know, a lot of uh, souls passing over to the uh, spiritual realm. Um, people coming back from the past. We had to dodge that bullet. Myself, speaking of myself. Okay. Um, here's one that popped out. Uh, yeah, if you're on my Facebook page, you read some of the stuff that I went through, and you know, it wasn't funny, you know, to me when it was happening, but it sure enough was funny after I sat there and written it and then read it again. I'm like, oh my god, and everybody was coming on, like, you know, sometimes it is good to laugh at some stuff, some stuff is just best to laugh at and just keep it moving because you know, shit happens, period, point blank. Just like my readings today, especially when it comes to the, you know, sexual part, you know, it, hey, life is what it is, okay? We, people got fetishes. This is going to be talking about, like, fetishes, hidden, hidden things, um, you know, people that like to be tied up, you know, it's just going to bring out certain things, you know, and I'm going to kind of express whatever the angel guides express to me about situations, especially if you're running into problems sexually, um, with your partner and things like of that nature, okay? So it's not going to hurt too bad. <laughs> All right, then. Your cards are really... Uh-oh, talk too soon. There they go, falling all over the place. Okay, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What's going on with you Tauruses? Here's two sticking out here. All right, let me get another one. second row. This is going to be for singles, couples, marriages, you know, the whole nine. General reading may not apply to all, but may apply to some. Uh, also listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign, okay? If this doesn't pertain to you, there may be some messages in there. And you're welcome to listen to my other videos, okay? Um, with your um, signs of your natal chart there, okay? Um, the pictures that are depicted, there's going to be no, um, um, male or female. It's just going to be dependent on who's watching the video, okay? Like that. Same old, same old thing, just a different month. Okay. I've done enough shuffling here. Let me go ahead and pick some cards out for you. Boy, this this sign, uh, this uh, one of these cards been coming out a lot for you. Signs, the same card. Okay. All right, Taurus, <clears throat> male and female. All right, let's see what's going on. Give me a second to take a little overview here. Already prayed and shuffled over, uh, prayed and, and meditated over the cards before uh, each I start each reading, okay? So they are just a fresh and, and new, okay? Okay, first off, I see here, Tars, for you, okay? I see the Nine of Swords. 
And the reason why I felt like I, I think I'm picking up on glare is because these cars have a, a shiny tone to them. So there's just, it's going to be that way no matter what. If, even if I have all the lights off, it's still going to be some shine. Okay, so that's what's doing it. So I'm trying to put these up here so you can see them very well. Um, kind of capture, you know, the visual here. Okay. The Nine of Swords. So, we're talking about the Nine of Swords. The Swords um, group is the Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra as far as their energies. Could be experienced a person or someone of this uh, male or female. Now, when I'm looking at this card and what I'm hearing, let me see what I'm hearing here. Okay. Okay, this is showing me a male or female. This depends on what TARS we're talking about here. It looks like you guys, like some somebody's uh, in a in a in um, or courting somebody or dating somebody here or thinking about dating somebody here, and you're giving gifts. You're putting them, you know, you're putting them like your top priority. You might have been in another relationship, and I'm gonna tell you why. Here's my little pointer here because I'm gonna point some things out that you may miss out on. Okay. Okay, in this card, here we go. Now, can I see? All right. You see him putting, you know, giving her necklaces, showering her with gifts and things like that. He's dressed up. It looks like they're in an outing somewhere as well. Or they might be in a store where they just came out of the store. He's putting a necklace on her. But I want to know, do you see what the heck I see in the background? Stalker. Stalker alert, stalker alert, excuse me, I got my retainer in, so excuse me with my words, okay? Um, there's somebody in the background looking, and they're, they're quite jealous, and they're probably mad and upset. This could be, this could be, um, a situation where, y'all have to excuse me, because I'm tired. I've been up late in the morning. This could be a situation where um, this person may have been involved with this person that's in the background that's really mad. You can see the look on their face that they're they're very jealous. They got a jealous look on their face, and um, and they're looking at this like, you know, why can't that be me? That's what I'm hearing, and that's what I'm picking up. Why can't that be me? Um, that person is feeling, you know, you know, left out or left out in the cold by this gentleman here who seems to be the way he's, his appearance is that he's very well put together. Um, the woman seems like she she's dressed very beautiful and things like that. Like I said, they look like they are in, in a social gathering or maybe at a store because she's looking in the mirror at him putting his necklace on, but in the background is this woman and she probably is the third wheel okay she's probably the third wheel she probably dated this guy or this girl depends on who's watching the video and um uh or it could be where you know it was just maybe it wasn't a relationship maybe it was something that just you know a hit it and miss it you know what i'm saying like a one night stand and you know or something of that nature tars you could have you know maybe this could have been a marriage to this person and, you know, they kind of like ran up on you and see you with this new person here and sharing them with gifts and things. And, you know, they just that just didn't didn't like that. You know, that kind of put a damper on their on their mood here, it looks like to me. So somebody that you used to date or was with or whatever, or it could be where you still with them and you just you know you got caught here somebody's looking or sneaked up on you or or stalking you watching you following you seeing what's going on and they see this uh other person getting treated like a queen on a throne and that is just not acceptable to them they do not like that okay Um, this could be a card of cheating if this is a person in a relationship with somebody they could be cheating you know, uh, putting on an act with this person. This person might not know that you're involved with somebody else and you're like whining and dying and make them feel like they're the only person and there could be somebody else because of this person that's standing in the background. Also, the Seven of Swords is, is, is talking about, um, you know, some kind of strife, some strife, 
there's some mental strife, you know, going on here, and it may be due to this person finding out their boyfriend, husband, or whatever, uh, is seeing someone else. Or also, this could be somebody that just, uh, is, um, a single person that entered into this relationship and didn't know that this guy was a player. It could be, uh, uh that, of uh, that nature too. This could be happening to you, Taurus, or you could be doing this to someone else. It's always the flip side of the story, okay? Just because it's your reading doesn't mean that you're, you know, whatever it is that you're not doing it because it could be some, some, not all, not all. So there's some strife here with the Nine of Swords and it's Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra energy here. Um, and this is all about cutting to the truth. Swords are, are truth, uh, swords of truth. Okay. So truth has been found out for somebody that was either, uh, wondering or thinking, you know, they ran up on the truth of what's going on here, especially if it's a relationship issue. Okay. Now next we got the, uh, page of wands. Can you see the page of wands? Okay. And the reason why I've written it up top is because you guys don't know what those little symbols mean, and I do. So i just written what they are, okay? Page of Wands. They don't have, usually they have them on the cards. They don't on these. Page of Wands is coming in here. You see you got flowers and things like that. Pages are normally messengers, okay? And they bring on messages. Now, the Wands is a fire sign. It's like a Aries Sagittarius or Leo, okay? So it's a fiery energy, an energy of passion, um, passion and love, you know, things of that nature. Somebody could bring, be bringing on a hate message, you know, somebody could be calling you, telling you, this, especially this person that see you with somebody else, Taurus, or you could be doing this, switching around to somebody else that you might have seen, somebody you were involved in with seeing with them with someone else. So the page is coming here with a message of some, some type of, um, um, maybe, you know, uh, anger, maybe some anger, some words of anger, you know, like I thought you were with me and I see you with someone else or, you know, somebody's going to, you know, either call or text or whatever it may be and, 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 and let you know, uh, they saw this situation that's going on here or you vice versa might do this to someone else that you saw doing this, that you were involved with or thought you were in a relationship with. It also could be where two people are married or a committed relationship as well. Cause we're reading for all of them. Okay. There's going to be some cutting to the truth here. You know, see this? Am I doing this right? See, see this. This is the Ace of Swords. Again, the energy of a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And this is um, the Ace, okay? This is like cutting through to the truth. Getting to the truth. So there's going to be a message about getting to the truth of what this situation is going on here with uh, uh, this person in the background seeing that a possible lover of hers or his with somebody else wine and dining them and buying them things, okay? It's going to be some strife. Like I said, the seven, the nine of uh, uh, swords is some type of strife. It could be even some type of fighting or arguments going on, okay? And you're going to get word of it. It's going to, you're going to get word of it before it comes because it's coming with the sword of truth. Um, if you really look at this card and you see the hand here, and it's coming from here. And if you look at the hand, the hand is, is all cut up. It's like it's been stabbed. You know, this is how many times probably this stuff happened before they finally say, I'm cutting to the truth of this. I'm getting, you know, I'm getting to the bottom line of this bullshit. You know, I'm going to see what the hell's going on here. Or I saw what's going on and now I'm going to express myself about. I'm going to let that person know, okay, that I see the truth. I know the truth. And, and it's, and, and, and it, that's what it is. And then you're going to be, and whoever it is going to be victorious at it, whether it's you or the other person, because they have proof. They've seen it with their own eyes. It's the truth, truth being told with the page being here as, you know, as speaking and, you know, a page is delivering the message of truth that they cut through, somebody cut through the bullshit and seen 
seen it with their own eyes, okay? That's what that means. They're going to be carrying the energy of the um, uh, air sign, okay? Air energy. It's also, you know, uh, truth and victory along with it. Like, you know, okay, I, I won. I won this battle because I got proof. I already seen it. Even though they were hurt and got stabbed uh, before this, like saying, you know, before all this took place, there was a lot of a stabbing. It could have been a lot of, you know, fighting, a lot of, you know, maybe this relationship wasn't really going well. But still, there's no reason to, you know, go behind somebody back and do something. Or maybe they've done this, or maybe they're trying to say they've done this over and over again by the multiple stabs in their um their hand there. You know, maybe there was some lying going on here throughout this relationship or whatever, marriage or whatever it is. And then somebody got tired of it and said, you know, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out what the hell's going on. I'm tired of being in the dark about something because something's just not right. And then all of a sudden they do. Because if you see this sword, actually, it does have blood on it too. So they come, they got into the truth of the matter. Even though it was a rough, you know, a rough and, and, and was very victorious at it. This also could mean it could be like the ending uh, to, for a new, be, a, new be, uh, a new beginning, like a revelation, a revolution, something of that nature of the, the truth coming out. And so it be told. Then we have here right next to it is the, um, the Ace of Cups. Hmm. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, right after the truth being told, cutting through the bullshit, you won, okay, you got this battle, you seen it, there's nothing that I can say or do, you know, you caught me, I busted, and it, it was the truth and you won, there's nothing I can do about it, but now it's coming up with the, the uh, Ace of Cups, and that's like, mm. Uh, a lot of water. It could be a very highly emotional time now that the, all this this truth come out is you know very emotional regarding a relationship, a marriage, or um, a partnership, or somebody uh, wanting to get with somebody. You know, maybe there was a uh, maybe this is a single person that was with this person, or um, or wanting to approach this person, or maybe this person a per person approached you, and maybe there was something that started out, and then it just you saw this, and then decided, look, hey, this 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 is not it. I wanted a, a permanent relation. I thought me and you were getting into a relationship together, or not, or truth speak for itself is all I could say. But um, you know with with the two ones here, you know what I'm saying? The Ace of Swords and then the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Swords is, you know, victory, cutting through the bullshit, finding out the truth, and, and exposing it, okay? And once the truth is exposed, there's an, a big emotional um, situation here, a big emotional, maybe a lot of crying, tears. Um, and it could be also uh, satisfying a satisfying situation to where um, now that you see the truth of things, you can just move on with your life. Maybe, maybe maybe there's, well, maybe they're saying um, I can release myself from this now. Now that I've seen the truth, I can release myself emotionally and be fine with it. Be okay because I, I won. I won the battle. It could even be where, you know, it was somebody fooling around, cheating or whatever. And they got caught. They got busted. And then, you know, it's, it's an ending to that relationship. And all endings always means new beginning. So maybe that's why the Ace of Cups is here. It's a new beginning for somebody because they won uh, seeking out the truth and exposing it. So that's what I'm saying. You know, new beginnings here, a chance at love all over again for somebody. Uh, you know, you got a chance to start all over again with the Ace of Cups, a chance of uh, a love again, a true love this time uh being happy seeking happiness uh a new beginning in in all things you know maybe you know in, in, in emotional and again 
it's an emotional card that may be just uh, releasing a lot of emotional uh, turmoil and anguish and you know just putting that to rest okay but it does mean you know some type of happiness a happy ending um uh uh happy for the results you know the results that came out because you became you know a winner in this situation you won so it, it made you extremely extremely happy emotionally that you that is done and over with there's no more fighting to go through everything has been exposed so Definitely some deception with the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is somebody being in, living in some type of an illusionary dream state, dreamy state of, of being. You know, all up in their emotions. What happened to my song? All up in their emotions. Excuse me, y'all. I usually have music playing. <laughs> All up in um, their emotions and um, this person that, that's in their face. This person that's in their face, look, they, they got a, a, a mask on, okay? Like I said, a couple of signs had this. And their nose is really, really long. So that reminds me of Pinocchio. And when, every time Pinocchio's nose grew, it, it, because he told a lie. So the lie would, you know, show for itself. So, and this is at some kind of gathering. And this person here, this woman, looks like she's so consumed by this man or so up in the clouds with this guy, whatever he's saying or whatever he's doing, she's really like, really taking all this in. Like I said, using emotions over her mind. She's got her eyes closed, so she's not really seeing. This person is a liar and um, just trying to co coerce her, trying to get what he wants out of her, basically. And this could be uh, a water sign, a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Or they're taking on the energies of that, I'm, you know. Okay, but I'm seeing justice being served here. You know what I mean? Justice being served, like um, somebody, you know, pulling back or hold holding back, uh, it, or it can mean some. It needs to be. Uh, there's going to be balance restored here in a relationship, maybe, maybe one that was you know, torn apart, Tars, for some of you, maybe it's, maybe there's going to be a reestablishment of that relationship, maybe it's going to grow, you know, closer, or for some of you, it's maybe where you're trying to hold on to a relationship that maybe no longer serves you because of the things that went on here, the deception here, with the Seven of Cups and the uh, Nine of Swords, you know, you know, and, and seeing, and actually seeing the truth and bringing it to, uh, to the forefront for truth, okay? So, um, it, that's what I'm saying, you know, justice, there could be somebody getting a, a divorce for some of you. It could be a divorce situation. Um, like I said, some of you may be trying to, you know, uh, Somebody might be trying to battle this divorce or this uh, breakup. It could be that as well, okay? Picking up for some of you. But nevertheless, truth is truth. Um, and it will be uh, justified, okay? Justice is going to uh, prevail here. So don't try to force nothing to happen. Let it happen naturally. Don't try to force anything, um... Taurus. Just trying to play some beautiful music here. Okay. Um, what we have next is another card. It's a Ten of Cups. Okay. The Ten of Cups is like um, new beginnings. New beginnings in love. Somebody may be um, serenade or see somebody else that they like in their um, their. You, Taurus, may be, you know, entering into a new relationship with someone else or somebody that you were, uh, like I said, up here where this person may be who you were uh, in a relationship with or marriage or, you know, partnership. 
a new relationship that ended, you pro you know, they there's something new coming here with the Ten of Cups, okay? <clears throat> we see a woman up here on the balcony and the guy's down here playing her playing music, serenading her. So this is the beginning of a relationship, and it is the Cups card, and it could be a relationship. You may be in a relationship or starting a relationship with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, okay? And they're coming on to you very, very strong. They really want you. They want a relationship here. Ten is, you know, um, a, a card of completion as well in a relationship where two people come together and they both want to be together. And next we have the Knight of Coins. Okay. See that cat there? I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups. That would that say. Knight of I don't know. Knight of Coins or Knight of Pentacles, you know, whatever. That's what it is. Okay. This is a earth sign. This is a court card, so it's an actual person. It is a Taurus. Um um a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So this could be you, Taurus. Like I said starting a new relationship with someone else or someone else that you were in a relationship with and you ended that it went to court you know divorce time or separation time because of deception deception here you know what i mean there's this these are cards of deception somebody's in the background watching or you got caught there okay uh and then there's a new one starting up all all a new relationship starting over again or starting up with somebody new. And somebody you could be starting it up with, Taurus, or somebody you that you were with is starting up with the Knight of, of Coins, which is the Earth sign. Um they usually uh they're they're one of they're slow. They're one of the slowest knights out of the whole, you know, deck of knights of knights. When it comes to the knights, they're the slowest ones. Uh, slow process. They observe a lot of things before they, you know, do things. Uh, they're very, they get, they make sure they're sure about a lot of things before they do anything. They're very well, uh, well balanced. Um, they're, uh, very confident. They, um, very, they're very, very helpful too. They're people that you can really, really, truly rely on. And they're, you know, most earth signs are workaholics. They work themselves to the bone, you know. They just keep at it, at it, at it all the time. They're always working, okay. That's why they are ahead of the pentacles. Uh, and they're also, you know, very, like I said, very, very helpful, very caring. They don't show it much, you know, in their in their emotions they're not too much into their emotions they're mostly in in their head all the time about things they're always thinking uh they stay focused and like i said they watch their environment they're they they, they can watch everything there's they watch a million things at one time and then they they'll, they can sit back and tell you exactly what's going on because why they've been sitting back quiet being you know seem like they're slow but they're not really so their actions they move you know like a turtle they're really, you know, as far as their movement, before they do any kind of actions, they really, they take it very, very slow. It's one step at a time, like baby steps. They take baby steps before they dive into anything. So, like I said, a new relationship, and it looks like it's going to be a fulfilling one, a happy one. It looks like the uh, feelings are uh, reciprocated between two people. With the Ten of Cups here, uh, I do see a breakup for some of you Tauruses out there or somebody bre breaking up with you because of deception or lying or cheating with someone else. The truth does come out, whether this happened to you, Taurus, or if it happened, or if you've done this to someone else. The truth does come out, but I do see a brand new start in love. In love, in a love relationship, probably with the person that you, um, up here, because, well, that's sword card. This whole thing is very, very emotional, along with, is a lot, big emotions and big, uh, you know, as far as mental, uh, mental and, uh, uh, emotional time here. But justice does prevail in your favor, Taurus. If you, if somebody done this to you and then you're moving on to a new brand new relationship, 
and you're taking your time about it. Or it could be uh, um, someone coming or leaving because they got this this night got their back turned to this ten of cups. So somebody could somebody you could won this person over from someone else that they may have been in a relationship. And so this night had to end up leaving the relationship because they were they were cheating or you know some lying or something like that going on. It could have that uh, scenario too is what I'm feeling. It was a long time coming because, like I said, they moving slow like a turtle or a long time leaving. And being this uh, knight is underneath the uh, Ace of Cups, I'm going to say, and then there's the Knight of uh, Coins, I'm going to say that um, it was a happy departure. Or it was a very emotional departure, too. It could go either way, depend on the circumstances, and, and you guys can figure that out, okay? So that's all I got for your um, relationship reading, um, romantic reading, uh, Taurus. Now let me get to the good stuff, okay? Let's get to the the bottom line of this stuff. What is going on with this? I'm getting all, I'm sorry, y'all. I just wanted to play really some, hold up. Sorry, sorry to be right with you. Okay, let's get with the sex rule. And now, like I said, if you got kids around, you're watching this video, please, please let them go into another room. They don't need to hear or see this uh, content, please. I don't want myself out there with that, you know. And I'm saying it on this video, too, just to let you know. And I did put a video out beforehand so you can prepare yourself for it. So please, if there's any children around, please let them go into another room or you go into another room while this portion of it is going. Thank you. Okay, so sexual. Let's see what's going on here with some of you Tauruses out here. Now, it's just not going to be, you know... It's not going to resonate with everybody, but it is going to for some, okay? And no, sh no shame in the game. You know, it's all part of life. Sex is part of life. That's why there's billions and billions of people in the world. Storks certainly didn't bring us here. Sorry for my little, because I got my retainer in, as I said, so excuse the way I'm talking. Um, It's helping to straighten out my teeth for me, so I have to wear it. It's in the evening now, so I, I wear it at night. Um, yeah, like I said, no storks brought us here. That's for sure. Nothing falling. Well, here's one. Here's two. Just come right on out. Here we go. This, these cards are like, you know, fetishes, fantasies, like that might, might be deep down inside of you, uh, that's gonna come out, um, um, you know, just things of that nature, cause it's erotic, they're erotical cards, very erotic, you know, just maybe, you know, dreams, fantasies, things like that, or things that is actually happening. Here's one that wants to come out here. There's one sticking out, too. A couple of nines here, huh? And here's one. Alrighty then, let's get to it. Was that it? I keep picking the wrong songs. I'm trying to get something that, uh, 
Okay, history. That's going to be last throughout the video anyway. It don't sound right. It's not sound right where it's not. All right, here we go. Here we go, Tara. Sorry for the interruption. I just want to make sure we have something in the background plan. Let me take a quick look at what's going on, Taurus, for you. Okay. Hmm. Just a minute. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, the first one I'm doing. We got here for you the three of fire. You can see what's going on there. Okay, the three of fire. Or the three of wands, okay? It's the three of wands. And this is, um, if you look at the picture, you look at the guy, he's got like a surprise look on his face. <laughs> he looked like somebody got caught off guard here. Um, and they're out, this is something where they're out in the open. They're out, they're sitting there on the picnic table. This is like being very, um, very, very dangerous or very, let's see, put this card right here. Didn't have the right one here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that looks to be very daring, you know what I mean? Um, very spontaneous. This person, like I said, appears to be innocent and he's dressed as though he... Um, was in the office. This could be a office or a job situation where somebody, you know, um, is having some kind of relationship at work because he's got a tie and a suit on, you know, who would wear a tie and a suit at, you know, like this. Um, the three of wands also almost Almost, it means also that um, um, there could be three people. This person here could already have somebody in, in their life. Um, this fire sign. Um, it could be a fire sign. Because fire is, I'm sorry, it could be Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Okay? Because they are fire signs. And it could be this person that's, you know, riding this guy, like, out in the park. Just took their clothes off and just, like, went at it. You know what I mean? And like I said, it could be a work situation. And it could be where, you know, somebody's uh, uh, being, sneaking around because of it being a three. Okay? So it could be three people involved in this. Per this could be, like, a office relationship situation. And they go off, you know, maybe on their break or whatever, meet in a park here and here they go. They're going at it, okay? That's what I'm picking up here. Actually, I'm sorry. I, twi I had these backwards. I'm so sorry. I had it backwards. I don't know why I did that. But I, this one was first. Um... Okay, this is where, this is it. This right here is the earth, okay? Two of earth, okay? Um, and this could be an earth sign energy here with the two of earth. And as you can tell, this woman, like I said, they're out in the park. It could be an office situation. And I'm sorry, I read it backwards. I'm sorry about that. Um, where, um, you know, they, on their lunch break or whatever, they're out in the park. He looks like he's stunned. He looks like, he looks like 
what you know maybe he didn't expect this from this person you know maybe he wasn't expected this maybe he just thought it was just going to be a talk or whatever uh, again i believe it's a, a work situation because she's dressed up in like a um office attire and so is he with the suit and tie so and this person could be taken because they're very reserved they're not responding to whatever they're not responding to what this person is doing but this person is being aggressive she, she or he, if this is you, um, I'm sorry, yeah, you Tars, if this is you, um, you're acting aggress aggressively with this person and, you know, kind of taking them off guard. Look at the look on their face. And she's just, he, you know, coming at it with it all, either you or the person that's, that's around you, okay? And another scenario, this could be where you had, a, somebody could have had a call girl or a call guy. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. Because of it being pentacles. Having something to do with money or a job. You know, like somebody from the job, an office person. She even took his hat off and put it on her head. Here we go with this one again, which makes sense. Now it's done went full blown where she took off all her clothes and just, you know, straddled him, you know, out in the open. And he still like got this shock look on his face, you know, like man, this was very unexpected. But there's a three here. So, you know, three of fire. Okay. Versus the two of earth, which is, could have been an earth sign. Um, a Capricorn Taurus, this could be you doing this, uh, Taurus, because this is your sign here, okay? And the other person could be a fire sign, which is a, uh, um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo that you, that, that done this, that's doing this. And you're meeting in a park somewhere, it looks like out in a park where there's a bench and there's woods out here, so I, it's in secret, you know, that's showing me secrecy. You know, and it shows me like I'm hearing a fling. It's definitely a fling and it's definitely been taken by surprise where somebody didn't expect that. And I do believe there's another party involved. Either you are involved with somebody else in a relationship or a marriage. Or this other person could be married in a relationship and they just wanted to, they wanted you. This is an office fling. I am keep hearing and this one, you know, just hot to trot. That's that's fire sign. You know, they they are very passionate, and they, what they want, they're very aggressive. Fire signs are aggressive, and when they see something they want, darn it, they're gonna get it, whether you want them to or not. See what that looks like? That's aggression. He ain't even got his clothes off. She does though. She's like, I'm getting this. You you can sit there all you want and act neat and like like you surprised. This is what I want and this is what I'm getting. So that's a sign of aggression. I don't care if you got a wife. I don't care if you got a girlfriend. I don't care. I want this. That's how fire signs act. They known for cheating. Not saying all of them do it, but most of them are known for for you know seeing something they want and be uh, sexually aggressive. Now we got here, um, next to that is the chariot where, you know, look, look at this. Where it could be like where this person has been fantasizing about this for a while because you see she's got the, uh, the, the camera there. Let me show you. I know you can see it right here. The camera and it's right under her, you know, her private parts like, you know, porn or something like that. Maybe that's what. Maybe that's what got all this started. Uh, maybe they are a porn, uh, like I said, a porn, you know, work for an industry in porn. For some, in some cases, maybe this was a setup. Maybe it was, you know, like, okay, meet me here at this time, at this place or whatever, and it'll be a quickie. We'll get it done. You pay me and I'm out. Okay. And char uh, the chariot is like a, a a movement card to where you know 
um, somebody's taking action on something. This could be uh, where somebody was uh, a, a dream, like a like a wish or something, something coming through, or is planning something and it taking action with the chariot, like moving forward with, with that with those plans. Like we'll meet in a park in a a, a, a place. But he sure looks innocent in this picture, like he was surprised or something. Because he's not putting his hands on... He did put her hand, his hand around her when she got on top of him, but anything, everything else it looked like they was being aggressive with. They was going to get what they wanted. It could have been a paid situation where they paid somebody to do a call girl, you know, because I'm not looking at this. A call girl or call guy, whatever it may be, situation. And they went through with this, you know, took off with this situation. It was maybe planned, like I said, for either you, Taurus, is doing this or somebody doing this to you. A plan actually made and followed through. Okay, now we got the three of air or the three of swords. Okay, third party situation. We got two threes here. Three, which could be somebody that's married or in a relationship with somebody or, you know, starting out with somebody. They got somebody else, period. And here again, it shows up threes. Three of swords means heartbreak. Um, the three of swords is looking right at this porn chick right here okay looking right at her facing her so this thing could be exposed and plus with the camera there too like i said it could be somebody could have been taking pictures you know who knows it's several se several scenarios that go here now that i'm seeing this she's looking right at this person see that well it was like this she's looking right at her or him depending on the situation. So, something was seen, and then it was a heartbreak, because the Three of Swords is a heartbreak card, uh, where somebody's heart were broken. They're looking right at this person, so they may have either had somebody spying on them, and they took pictures of it and showed it to the third party, or the, <clears throat> or the wife, or the girlfriend in this situation, or boyfriend, however it may be in this situation with you Tauruses, and it was a heartbreak here, okay? <clears throat> And here we have another, and this could uh, represent uh, uh, air energy of Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? And then we have the Eight of Fire as well, the Eight of Wands, which started, you know, some, the Eight of Wands is like a, a battle or something, you know, it's like some, it started some riffraff here, I guess so, after they done got busted or, you know, somebody catching it taking pictures of this stuff of these two people here that it's the three up there saying that you know this person may be taken or involved with somebody else and somebody uh could have called it or it could have been an arranged situation a work situation where it was arranged and um uh and and with the chariot here meaning it was followed through and with her with the camera here showing me maybe as a situation where some of you Tauruses this happened to and somebody, you know, was uh, snooping around and, and, you know, took pictures of it and showed it to the to the other party. Your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, however it may be. And it caused a lot of, uh, it stirred up a lot of, of uh, uh, fighting, anger, anger is here. Some backstabbing. Somebody might have left, you know, left the situation to be to go then do what then do them. You know what I'm saying? They might have left to go do something just to get you back, being it's the aid of, of uh wands. 
Eight of Wands is, you know, like like I said, it's an action card and it's something to move. So somebody may have took some action against you and maybe gave you a dose of your own medicine or vice versa. Somebody could have been doing this to you. And this is the energy of... <coughs> Excuse me, the energy of Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So we see that uh, fire sign in here a couple of times. A few times. Like three times, maybe. One, two. Yeah, because here it is again. It's like somebody left and went to be uh, engaged with someone else. Now they're acting like, you know, they're out there now. Maybe this person here who saw this. Uh, and got heartbroken, and they want to get back at you now by, you know, them going out and doing some strange shit sexually, you know, having sexual episodes and things like that. Look at this. Even out in the open with it, you know, with another person with the uh, nine of uh, fire. So it's an eight, and it, it, it excelled to a nine. So it's ex excelling. This thing is is excelling because somebody's pissed off. Somebody's mad. Either you, Tars, is getting pissed off behind this situation or your partner is by your actions being caught, okay? Somebody's, you know, getting buck wild here. You know what I'm saying? They could even be making porno. They might went out and made some porno movies too, like how maybe you did here with this other person or vice versa, some you catching somebody else doing it. And now they went, excelled from an eight to a nine of, of, of wands, okay? So it's getting, it's, it's, it's getting more uh, out there now with this sexual thing. It's, uh, somebody's in, you know, out in the open too, you know, doing it out in the open, you know, where everybody can see she's got his, her hand on his penis and took it actually out of his um, pants. And they're out in public. But they got glasses. They got shades on, okay? Like, okay, this is sneaky, but I want it to be out in the public. It's like, to me, it looks like just a payback. You know, and somebody just like, they seen what you did and they doing the same thing, you know, just to get you back or it could be out of anger. And then it excels from... Well, it goes to a nine to another nine, but in a different way. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. You know, I'm breaking free. I'm free. You know, you hurt me. I'm hurt and I'm going to hurt you back. Period. Point blank. And it's being shown here where they're just like letting it all hang out. Even to the point where they're doing something strange for a piece of change. They might have turned up straight to a prostitute or prostitution or, you know, just because they're hurt. They're hurt by this. They're hurt by what they saw here in this relationship, Taurus. If it's not you, it's where you doing this to somebody else because you're hurt by what you've seen. This is all, you know, <clears throat> all about prostitution. All about getting paid to do some things, some strange things, whatever it may be, whatever, you know, uh, things, whatever men want in return for money. That's what this woman is doing here, okay? Um, and this is of an earth energy. Again, we got another earth energy here, too. So, in, in, in earth, uh, it means pentacles or money. So, this person, to me, I'm seeing that they're doing something to men for money. And they're got they're squatting down with their legs open like that. So and the men are surrounding this person. So you know what's up. I ain't gotta say it. You know what's up. She gonna get that money and then she's gonna take care of these guys right here. Okay. Or if it's you know male too, accepting money. You know what I mean. in exchange for sex and things of that nature. Somebody just went buck wild here. I'm just going to say it like that. Somebody went buck wild. They seen something. They got hurt in another partner by somebody here, a partner here. And they took off 
and look, they saw that somebody may have filmed this and showed it, or either they actually seen it with their own eyes. This is a setup. This is some kind of setup here, because like I said, this guy's looking like blank in the face. He has no facial expression, so that could be telling me that it was just emotionalist and it was just a uh, a um, a flu a flu you know, a one time thing here. But somebody got caught. There was some, you know, got caught doing in the act, and it, and it really hurt this person here, okay? Whether it was you or you or somebody did it to you, and then all of a sudden, nothing, everything went haywire. Somebody's paying you back. Somebody's mad. The fire energy uh, um, just completely just losing it. You know, I'm getting out. I'm out. I'm on my own. I'm out. Sorry about that. Did that show up here? Look why all these things are showing up or just popping up out of nowhere. Okay, um, and just went buck wild. You know, simple as that. You know, they're hurting. This is all out of hurt and pain right here. And anger, too. Okay? And anger. Because of the fire. And then they, you know, somebody might have just, you know, resulted to, um, prostitution they might have got a little you know went got too damn happy okay sorry about that y'all thought i had to turn down the set but i didn't so that's the story on that tar as far as uh the sex part of it you know the sex life that's going on here <laughs> Definitely some deception going on in three ways, three parties here and stuff, okay? And if it doesn't resonate with you, you know, check out your other signs and things like that. Now we're going to bring it down a notch or two, okay? We're going to bring it down, tone it down, cool things off, and uh, give you an affirmation card. But if this sounds like you, if you needed some more details, you know, cater to yourself, you know what to do. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, for you Tauruses out there, your affirmation is honesty. Honesty is the best policy. Let me take it, get a good look at that. This is your bonus card, your affirmation card. If you want to write it down, you can. Or you can just read uh, wine and do it later. Okay, and honesty. I am fair and honest, and that attracts fairness and honesty into my life. So, after even after this situation, what's going on here, your sex life, your love life, you know, it's all, all about honesty. You know, you bring on honesty, you get honesty in return, okay? That's basically what it's saying in a nutshell. So, you be fair, fairness will come to you, okay? So... I hope you enjoyed that segment of Love and Sex uh, edition with Simply Love. And again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for viewing my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for caring. And again, you know, um, love is all there is and love is all there ever be. And keep your eyes open for that video that's coming out for the winners, okay, for the contest. And I really enjoyed that. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to keep it up so we can uh, come along become closer and interact with each other okay so i'll see y'all later ta-ta for now and have yourself a good one and stay cool <laughs>